What I'm about to share with you it takes less than 15 minutes and it can have your listings ranking first in several different Etsy searches in just the first couple of weeks of selling on Etsy. So if you'd like to have your listings shown to potential customers, which obviously leads to more sales, then just keep watching. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany and I run a physical products shop and I'm here on YouTube sharing the tips and strategies that I learn along the way to see rapid success. So if you run a physical product shop or you're interested in starting one or even if you run a digital product shop, a lot of these strategies will relate to you as well, then definitely hit subscribe so you can see when I put out new videos and give this video a thumbs up if you find value in it because then I know to create more content like this. So many people get into Etsy or get into starting a business thinking that they have like this amazing product, which I'm sure you do, but they think that as soon as that product is out there on the market, people are just gonna flock to it. You're gonna be flooded with sales. You're gonna be running to the post office every single day with tons and tons of packages. And that's just not how business works, not just for you, but for everybody. No matter how amazing a product is, you have to be implementing some strategies to actually get that product in front of people's eyes and make them want to buy it. So now with all of that being said, let's get into my Etsy stats for a brand new Etsy shop I just opened up a month ago. So if you take a look at your stats, you can see the number of views and visits to your shop per day. This is for the past 30 days and it's actually not correct. I'm not sure why, but it's close enough. So I've only had this shop open for about a month and I only have a total of five products, which is really not much at all for an Etsy shop, um, especially in a saturated niche, which I am in. Uh, I'm selling bath bombs. So it was very easy for my listings to get completely drowned out on Etsy and for people to not even know that my shop existed. So yeah, I do want you to know that this does work if you're just starting out with only a few products. Shops with lots of products, lots of sales, lots of positive reviews are going to get shown in search results before a brand new shop with only a few products and no sales or reviews. That's just how it goes because Etsy ultimately wants to show the customer something they will want. And the way they determine that is by looking at the shop stats. So this obviously puts you at a disadvantage in the beginning because you don't have those stats. So this is where some strategy needs to come in. As you can see, in the first couple of weeks, practically no one was seeing my shop. I can probably just say no one was seeing my shop besides myself going through pages and pages in search to try and find my product. But then, as you can see, one day a big change happened. After that, I started getting consistent views, consistent visits, and consistent sales. At this point, I make about a sale or two a day, and I know that as I add more products, um, that will continue to go up as I continue to implement these SEO strategies for the new products that I add. So what changed? I will show you exactly what I did. So I went on this website called eRank, and I connected my, oh, hold on, let's go to the homepage. I connected my Etsy shop. Um, you don't have to use eRank, but I find it extremely helpful. So I'm going to walk you through how to use it to really up your SEO. So first you're going to go up here to listings, go to your active listings, and then you can click through each listing um, one at a time to get suggestions on SEO. When I first did this, I had pretty much all C's and D's for my SEO grades and lots of suggestions for how to improve. You can implement those suggestions if you want, like shortening your title, bulking up your description, adding more photos. But really what your main focus should be on is the tags. This is seriously so helpful and it is, it is honestly what made the difference in my stats and allowed me to start getting sales. So in eRank, your top, it'll show you the competition for each one of your tags. If all of your tags are in the red zone, which I think mine were when I first went on eRank, you are using way too highly competitive tags and 
you're going to easily get drowned out by more experienced sellers as a new seller. What you need to do is identify tags with much less competition that you actually have a chance at ranking high for. You can include a few that are in the red zone if you want, um, but know that it'll take some time for you to climb your way up the search ranking for those terms. So as you can see, I'm using tags like vegan bath bomb, zero waste, lavender bath bomb, and if we go over to Etsy and search those search terms, let's try vegan bath bomb. You can see my listings are just in the very, the third row. And then if we do zero waste bath bomb, my listings are in the second row and the third row. And yeah, pretty much all of my listings are in the first few rows for those search terms. And lavender bath bomb my bath bomb is in i think that's the fourth row it fluctuates every day um pretty much my listings stay around the third or fourth row sometimes they're all the way up in the first row usually after a couple promoted listings um yeah but then if you just search bath bomb You can see, I mean, there are so many bath bombs on Etsy, and I think you have to go to the third page to find to find one of my listings. The third page is actually not bad at all compared to when I first started. I was way deeper down, but because I ranked high for more niche search terms, like the lavender bath bomb, vegan bath bomb, zero waste bath bomb. Um, because I ranked high in those listings, I started getting consistent sales, which then boosted my listings in the more general search terms like bath bomb. Another trick you can implement in the beginning is to log into a different account or just sign out and use Etsy as a guest. Um, you can find your listings in search. So let's do bath bomb. And we know that it's on the third page. And then you can click through the listing and search and then actually click through to the shop. This shows the algorithm that people are finding your listings in search and they're liking it enough to click through. You can even add a product to your cart to really show the algorithm that people are very interested in your product and that will give you a little boost in search as well so i'm going to make a separate video about writing out your descriptions because that can really make a difference as well um, so if you want to see that video make sure you subscribe um, so going back to my stats you can see that when I made these changes, there was a big change, or there was a big increase in the amount of visits that I was getting, which ultimately started getting me consistent sales. Sometimes it can take a few days for the algorithm to catch up to the changes you make, but it shouldn't be too long before people are actually finding your listings. As long as you have good photos, full descriptions, and a good product, you should be getting sales pretty quickly. There is no need to wait around for Etsy to start working for you, actually. I would bet that if you just wait around for Etsy to work for you, that's just never going to happen. Like I said in the beginning, you really have to implement some strategy to get your product in front of people's eyes. That is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.